Ah, greetings, YouTubers. This is Darkmaster491, and I have another Pokemon X and Y battle special for you guys. This time with Delphox. So you know the usual as a duo. We have uh, two Delphox sets here with uh, two battles each, since I didn't get to have um, any six versus six matches. So I'll show you guys some three on threes here, single battles, awesome matches. Um, so the first set is going to be a bulky sweeping Delphox, which is more or less a uh, calm mining Delphox. But I'll get to that into the battle. So in any case, as you can see, my opponent here has um, sort of an interesting beat setup here. He has a Mega Charizard of some sort here. I'm not sure which it is, but uh, it's one of the Mega Charizards. So what I'm going to do here is lead with Rotom. And we'll see what happens, just for scouting purposes, and hopefully Delphox can do something. So anyways, let's get to the battle. And here we go! We have our first match against a Japanese girl here, who is going to lead the Charizard while I lead with my Rotom just to play it safe. Unfortunately, this isn't looking too good as I don't know what uh, Mega Charizard she's going to evolve Mega Evolver Charizard into, and it turns out to be unfortunately Mega Charizard Y, since basically she has a pretty severe advantage and can pretty much knock out Rotom with a super effective Solar Beam here with the Sunny Day. Excellent combo by a Mega Charizard X. Definitely great ability, great Mega Pokemon, and. Should not be underestimated, so it's gonna take out my Rotom in one hit. My poor Rotom Wash. So, actually, that leaves an opening for me to send in my Delphox, so not all is lost. All is not lost. And I'm going to begin setting up with some Calm Minds here. And as you can see, my Delphox here has a max investment in HP, so it's 252. It's a very bulky Delphox. And add max speed on it just to outspeed stuff that it needs to. So basically, max speed, max HP, and I can set up the rest of Calm Minds here. Basically, I'm going to try to set up as many Calm Minds so that I can stock up enough to hide behind a substitute. So that's basically what I'm trying to do here. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem that one is good enough, but I'm going to predict his switch in case he's thinking that I'm going to throw up another Calm Mind and then substitute since that would be the ideal thing for an opponent to do. So I kind of predicted there. But he's going to also use a substitute, which is a little bit odd, since there isn't really much that I can see Charizard setting up with other than uh, Belly Drum. And as you can see, it did throw out the uh, Air Slash and a Solar Beam. So other than that, it could just be hi hiding behind a substitute for prediction purposes. I mean, substitute's a good move in general. So anyways, he's going to break my sub here, which is a little odd because I threw up two Calm Minds. I think the dynamics of substitute are a little bit different in this gen, or... Perhaps they always were, I'm not really sure there. Um, so I'm going to throw up a third Calm Mind, and he's going to switch this time to Jellicent, which is leading me to think that either the Jellicent is Scarfed, or I'm not sure, but I don't really have much else to switch into. So I'm just going to leave in Delphox here, and Scout with a Substitute, which actually turns out to be great, because my opponent decides to misclick here, apparently, and goes for Willow Wisp, which is <laughs> odd, but... Um, I mean, if you want to predict the switch, I didn't really have much other than Ditto to switch into either way. So, Ditto was just basically back up in case his Mega Charizard was uh, Mega Charizard X, then I could just outscarf it. If he wants to Dragon Dance, I will just pretty much pick off whatever he wants to switch into if he doesn't have a resist. Or if he leaves it in, just revenge kill it, pretty much. So anyways, um, Substitute is useful as he's going to throw out a Hydro Pump, and I get a free Psy Shock here. Thankfully, um, if it has Cursed Body, it hasn't activated yet, so I'm going to have to try again to take it out with a Psy Shock. And as you can see, that Psy Shock didn't do as much damage as one might expect, and that's because, like I said before, this is mainly a bulky Del Fox made to take um, a hit and set up of Calm Minds there. So it doesn't, have, doesn't actually have any special attack investment. So it's all HP and speed. And so yeah, now I'm gonna I'm gonna knock out that Jellicent. And he's gonna send back his Charizard. I'm gonna set up just to hide behind a substitute again for his last Pokemon here. And yeah, there's not really much his Charizard can do after me setting up three Calm Minds, unless he happens to have Warwind or something. I mean, other than that, if uh, Jellicent wanted to use Haze, <laughs> that would have been an option. Other than that, but in any case, um, it looks pretty good for Del Fox here. It just might be a sweep. We're going to have to see what happens in a moment, so I'm going to knock out that Charizard. Unfortunately for him, he misses the Air Slash, 
though I kind of doubt that mattered after three call mines like I said so here he's gonna send out an egg slash which is great because I can knock that thing out of flamethrower and that's gonna be pretty much the game that was a fun match if a person is watching this that I had the match with so yeah I hope you guys enjoy the match and I have another one coming up here so basically as I said is so I don't have to say too much in my uh, description video this is a full HP and speed investment Del Fox. <clears throat> so, a 252 effort value is in both speed and HP, and 4 points in its special attack, I believe. That's, yeah, put 4 points in special attack. So, gives a small booster. It could use a little more, but I mean, it doesn't need to evolve that bulk. It could just set up with the Calm Mines. Well, basically, it's a Calm Mines substitutes with uh, Flamethrower and Psy Shock. So, it basically, gives you enough coverage to survive around um, enough things just has to watch out for some tyranitars and all that so here's the next match um, opponent is going to lead with a greninja here which is interesting i actually predicted that so i have a very bulky snorlax which has the item assault vest so it's definitely going to be able to take a lot of special attacks um, but that greninja is still pretty powerful despite that so even with the assault vest that still does quite a ton He's going to try to get the burn. Unfortunately for him, that's not going to work out. So here I'm going to predict his switch. I go for a body slam, hoping to get the paralysis. So I can take it out with something later if he wanted to switch. Here I'm going to predict his switch and go for the earthquake. And bam! It's going to take a heavy, super effective hit. Aegis Slash there. Not taking that too well. So here I'm actually going to switch into my Delphox, which like I said is also bulky. So it can, um, it can take a good physical or special attack resisted hit so basically that's another thing that's not bad at doing um, though fortunately for me he's not even gonna throw an attack at all anyway so he's just gonna king shield I figured either it was that or he was going to hit me with a sacred sword and would have been able to take that fairly well so yeah, I'm gonna predict another king shield or him to switch or I figured if he was gonna shadow sneak it could take it pretty well it has enough bulk to take it in the fairly high to mid yellow so I was gonna set up a substitute after that if he wanted to do that if he decided to do that by the off chance but he does not and switches into Greninja so here I'm going to predict the Scald um, and go for Psy Shock haha yeah I know he could have used Dark Pulse but I was pretty sure he was gonna try to Scald me first and then Dark Pulse since usually opponents tend to play like that sometimes it depends but um, in any case down one Greninja and uh, two more to go. So yeah, he just has an egg slash and I forgot what he has last. I think it's Gengar. So he's gonna send in Gengar here. So that's another thing that Snorlax can handle fairly well. So it's good thing I have Snorlax here that's very bulky with um, assault vest. Definitely handy on Snorlax, I have to say. I actually have um, pursuit on this Snorlax, though I don't get to use it in this battle, but it's definitely handy for Gengars that want to switch. And that really can't do much to Snorlax, though. Crazily enough, he actually goes for a Hypnosis. I'm like, what? Oh my god, I was, I was actually scared for a second. I'm like, he's, he just almost caught me there, like by surprise, totally. So unfortunately for him, uh, Hypnosis has a bad accuracy. I mean, 60 accuracy is not all that to be proud of. All right, so here he's actually gonna go for the Sacred Sword now. And try to take out my Snorlax, but it's bulky in physical defense as well, so it's not going to quite take it out. And I'm going to finish it an Earthquake here, so that's going to be another good game here. Definitely a fun match, and hope you guys enjoyed as well. So I'll get to the uh, description, so stay tuned for that. And we're back, and doing a couple of uh, skating tricks here. Getting ready for the next uh, skating competition. They're just lolzing around here. Look at that. Oh, oh, look at that! Epic spin kick! What? Oh, anyways, uh, on to the uh, Del Fox description here. It's wrong button. and then go back. But yeah, like I said, this is basically a um, fully HP and speed invested Del Fox. <clears throat> main to uh, set up Calm Mines. So basically it has <clears throat> 252 effort values into its HP and 252 in its speed so basically max speed max HP with the six points in special attacks and it's a little small boost on hurt but in any case this is mainly like I said to set up and hide behind substitutes so if you need to hide behind a substitute and start setting up calm minds it'll give you all the more bulk to um, hold your substitute in there with 
But uh, yeah, we have here Flamethrower, Substitute, Calm Mind, and Side Shock, which gives it its basic metagame coverage. I mean, it could go with something like Hidden Power Fighting, which could give you coverage against things like uh, Tyranitar. But um, it doesn't do all too much damage in Tyranitar, and not to mention its stab moves go overall better against the majority of steel types it's going to be against. Well, with the exception of Heatran, but that's another story. <clears throat> In any case here, you have Flamethrower, like I said, for your Steel types, Bugs, and all that you want to get rid of. Psy Shock for things that you want to hit on the physical side after setting up Calm Minds. You know, don't forget you have things like Blissey that might want to try to wall you. So after Calm Mind or two, you'll be doing a lot more damage to it. So it doesn't hurt to have Psy Shock over Psychic in any case. Uh, not to mention, you might have other things trying to set up Calm Minds as well. So you can override them with Psy Shock as well. Yeah, so basically that's the gist of the set, uh, bulky Calm Mind set. So like I said, you might want to just watch out for counters like Dug Trio, which can trap you with Arena Trap, uh, Gengar, Mega Gengar, which takes a, a turn to Mega Evolve. So by then you should have a counter hefty such as Tyranitar to Pursuit Trap it, or Snorlax, something like that. But just keep on the lookout for those threats. And not to mention, if I didn't say, Tyranitar itself can also Pursuit Trap you, so just... Be careful for those threats. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And you have lefties, leftovers there to recover and gives you the ability to throw a couple more substitutes if necessary here. And last but not least, its blaze ability will work heftily when its HP gets low, so that's not all too bad. If things are running a little bit on the rough side, you can throw up a few extra substitutes and try to get into the blaze zone and deal some extra damage, so why not? Anyways, that's the gist of it. Um, oh yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the battles and the description here. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment. And stay tuned for the next battle. Alrighty, and onwards into our second Delphox set, which is going to be more offensive. This one is basically going to be a full class special sweeper using its hidden ability Magician, which is an interesting ability that I sought to play around with, but in any case, we'll see how this battle goes. It appears my opponent here has a Gastrodon, an Aegislash, and Excelgore, which is interesting since I happen to have the Grass Knot on my Delphox, which is going to be a hefty surprise for my opponents. Pretty sure he most likely won't see that coming, but if he does, in any case, I can super effective both of his other counters on the off chance that he decides to switch into Aegislash. I would have to be a little bit careful, however. But other than that, it doesn't seem that he um, should have too much trouble in this battle since he sent out things that my Delphox can pretty much handle. So anyways, we'll see how things go. Onwards to the battle! Alright, and we have our first of two matches here against an opponent who's going to lead with an Excelgore while I lead with my Delphox and go for the overheat, immediately demolishing that Excelgore in one hit, taking it out. And I have a White Herb here, as you notice, that's going to recover my status from overheat. Just want to do as much damage as possible while recovering with that. And going to hit this Gastronaut with the Grass Knot, which also is going to give me a chance to steal its held item Rocky Helmet with uh, Delphox's ability, Dream World ability, uh, Magician, which is uh, pretty much a gimmicky ability I want to try throwing on it, but it's worth a shot. I figure it can steal things like uh, Evia Lights from Chansey or Rocky Helmets, just random things like that or leftovers that are overall annoying for opponents to have. So here I'm just going to get a safe knockout on the... Um, ex Aegis Slash there, and that's going to be the first game. For our second match here, my opponent's going to have an interesting setup here. He has a Garchomp, and I'm figuring if I lead with my Delphox here, and he leads with Garchomp, I can reveal my second surprise here, which happens to be Hidden Power Ice. So I'm definitely going to leave with Delphox again, and he's going to leave with Garchomp, which is perfect, because now I can go for that Hidden Power Ice and take it out in one hit. Look at that. So that's going to one shot it, I'm going to have to switch out here since Greninja is obviously faster and I'm going to trap it with Snorlax since, well I do have Pursuits and I know it won't take it out even with the Protein but I can definitely weaken it with some Earthquakes and Body Slams whether he switches out or not. So here I'm just going to take it out with a Body Slam after the Earthquake since it doesn't seem like he's going to run any worse anytime soon so I'm just going to take that out and his last Pokemon happens to be a Raichu which I can 
pretty much take out the nice surf wave. So that's gonna be the game. Doesn't seem like Raichu could have done much anyways other than Focus Blast, which would have done nothing. So yeah, be sure to stay tuned for the description. And on to our last segment of the video here, our final Delph Fox set. So this one, as I mentioned before, is going to be a standard sweeping Delph Fox here, which is going to have a full investment of 252 effort values in special attack and 252 invested in speed with four points I place in the defense. You might notice there is something off and that is that the defense is short on the IVs as I had to kind of play around with the IVs and breeding to get the proper um, IV set for a hidden power eye. So it was a little difficult and so you know just don't get thrown off by the defense. It normally is supposed to be higher than that. Um, but other than that basically this is a sweeper Del Fox so you don't really want it to take as many hits in any case on the defensive side. So over here, it's going to have uh, Overheat, Sashak, Grass Knot, and Hidden Power. So it's going to give it a well over on coverage. Um, I made this on the basis of taking out foes that are four times weak to each of those moves. But I'll get to that in a second. First off, um, going to its ability, before I get there, um, I have the combo here of Overheat with White Herb. Which is great since after using Overheat, you can easily fire off another without having to worry about that special attack drop there. So definitely great combo there in my opinion. Overheat plus White Herb gives you an extra turn to um, hit your opponent, hammer your opponent with something in case you decide to switch out into some sort of a counter to resist the fire type attack or you know all that good stuff. Not to mention one other thing is I'm intentionally dropping the held item. Um, not only for that reason, but also because of the Magician ability, I wanted to have no item. So basically, by pulling that combo off, I will not only not have a drop special attack, but I also have no item with the ability to steal an item from my opponent, potentially. So if my opponent decides to switch into a Water Ground type, I can hit it with Grass Knot and potentially steal an item like a Rocky Helmet, Leftovers. Or better yet, my opponent switches into something like Chansey or Porygon 2, I can go for another Overheat and steal its um, Eviolite basically. And that'll pretty much render it almost useless since it depends sharply on that item. You really can't do much without that, those items. I mean, it could take bulky hits, but not as well as it, if it had the Eviolite. So definitely uh, Magician is a gimmicky ability to... Uh, steal those kind of items so it's it can be handy in some situations but like i said gimmicky since it's metagame pertinence can be a little bit biased but it's worth a shot in my opinion definitely gimmicky but is an interesting thing to try so in my opinion i, I had interest in making this del fox set here since um it definitely does take a few opponents off guard especially with moves like hidden power eyes grass knot so that was another thing i threw in hidden power eyes just to take out things that are x4 weak to that such as garchomp salamence or other dragon flying dragon ground types so definitely great and this entire set is basically made to hit things that are on the x4 weak side so yeah um and as mentioned before we have psy shock last but not least for anything weak on the physical side so overall just this is a special sweeping del fox made to hit hard what can i say what else i mean other than that you can throw a choice specs on it there are numerous other things you can do and sets that you can make but like i said the calendars still don't change so you have to keep a lookout for things like tyranitar and all that so definitely still dangerous regardless of the moves you have so anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video here if you have any questions comments or other del fox sets of your own don't feel shy you feel free to leave a comment and yeah with your questions or whatnot so don't forget to like comment subscribe stay tuned for the next video and until then may the darkness be with you